Uh, Colin. Roadhouse! <laughs> Roadhouse! I didn't even see her! Wait a second! Where was she? Where was, uh... Oh Auntie God. Greenleaf? Was she, was she not even... Alright then, oh, Auntie Greenleaf was in there. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. Wait! Wait! No, Toad! Wait, now. Toad! What? Why? Fucking day. Yeah. Oh, shit. Just go grab that, would you? What? Sorry about all this. I gave him money. I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance, but Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Did I just waste the crane's money? I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Oh my god. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. Yes, Clum and Toad? You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Thank Dad says Clum -toad. there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. Alright, Clum and Toad. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby. So Man, I try to save these guys! Even in daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It was the weirdest so animation. <laughs> have you been there before? No. I'm, uh,. Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? Would you like me to go? We're all set. Bye, Mr. I, I, I can take a visit. I mean, Goodbye, tear off someone else's head. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Oh, my gosh. Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? Grand Grandmaster of the Library and Chief of the How's it going, girl? Hi. Hi. Ah. Hi. Why are you still wearing that ribbon? You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know. I know it seems like I should be able to. Let me help. Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. Okay, fine. This is just something I need to do on my own. Okay? Listen. Okay, fine. I, I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. Oh my gosh, you're not really dead. I'm not sure where to start. I can, I can save them. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're going to find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute oh. Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I I had no choice. You have to understand. Wait a second. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence? Wait, who had whoa! Did you Tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. <laughs> we could just forget the whole thing. Maybe <laughs> try again in a few You years. caused her to die! So I...
told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. Orgy didn't do mercy. You know that. He could have been reasoned with. I was counting on that. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. Oh, no. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Here. Thank you. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. Oh, God. <laughs> and while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Pulled the ribbon. Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man... I ripped man his head off for no... Uh, so what if it wasn't the whole truth? Mm -hmm. It was true enough. I guess... It was worth the best. It was the best. Yeah, I was gonna kill him anyway. I can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily. But she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. So that was that white... I paid attention. She had the white dress on. The piece of fabric, you. yeah! That piece of fabric I found near there. That was you! Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. I knew so it! You, you I didn't know it. I didn't know it, I but pointed you in the right direction. I didn't quite People know it. Like us get forgotten all but the I did put together the that cloth was on okay. that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. Nah, just me. I don't know. Snow so, seems no, no, like no, no, no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way. Well, yeah, I did rip his head. Both of you. Oh, what sort of extreme? You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. Snow doesn't really need me. I'm sure that's not true. I'm sure it is. Tell me better After off. Everything you've done for us. Maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You <laughs> Got that right. When no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the man I'm in, not sure that's justice. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's justice. He really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh, I got chills. Wait. If. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What high <gasps> is his kingdom? They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I guess what does it matter though?
I think she was she glamored. That's a, that's what she was she glamored to be faith in the beginning. I'll see you around, Wolf. Oh, it it all ties together. More tests on her, so. Or maybe Faith never really died. The way I see it, either that's Faith, or no, it's not Faith. That's not Faith. That's not Faith. That's not Faith. I think maybe, but if there's more going on here, that I'm so confused. I am so confused. Why do? Why would you do this to me? <laughs> why would you do this to me? <laughs> I I killed Georgie, yeah. I brought him back. I <laughs> fourteen percent ripped his head off. <laughs> of course. What kind of sick man doesn't accept the gift? Oh, don't go here. Fifteen percent, then, dude. Why would you do this to me? That was good, and I, it's done. I finished. The, oh wait. I, You lied to him because he important. Yeah, I messed him while I, uh, you you beat him while he was down. Oh yeah, I did that. I did that. I remember that. I impressed. I impressed her with my detective skills. Great. I fought him at the interrogation. Gave him a drink. In his apartment. Hello. Yep. You slapped him. You slapped him. Okay. He took him out of the witch and well, I ripped his head off! You confiscated. You confiscated these money when the custody. Heck yeah! You di you killed him, yep. Smash him. Oh, you took Georgie's money from the safe. <laughs> I kicked down her door. <laughs> I kicked down her door in her face! <laughs> right in her face! Right in her face. I drank with them as really soon as I made a deal with them. Into his place first, prevent him from dying. So he would have died. Lawrence would have died if not for me. I saved a life. He gave a cigarette during my conversation. He tried to take her ribbon in the final car and said, Oh, thanks for reminding me about that. He brought her along with the trip. Chip showed Grant to her. You chose to wait for him? No, okay. Uh, is Flycatcher even in this? No, I didn't figure, I figured not. Except there's Bill and Pussy in the snow. Stop for him! I want to sit in the farm, but I gave him money. Yep! It didn't matter! Alright then. <laughs> that... That was a good experience. This game's amazing. I love it. Every aspect, every piece. I'm in love with. Like, I love it. That was good. I may in the future just do the ending. Just redo the ending. See what happens if, if I get the alternate ending. Um, this game's amazing. Like. For one, it looks a lot better than the first uh, Walking Dead, so like that was a big jump because this came out I think before um, the uh, for the, the Walking Dead two came out. So season two, I hope to get season two um, of the Walking Dead in uh, during the winter sale. Um, this took me a very long time to complete this game, and I'm sorry for that. I just wanted to do most of it with Dally, and I tried to play it with her. And that uh, we had trouble planning it together, so I actually had to finishing without her, and I, I uh, feel bad, but uh, I feel bad. Um, jeez, I mean, this is really good. I hope I want a season two of this, but I question what they could do, like. Oh, thanks. Like, what are we gonna... What's left? Oh, rip... Oh, one of the pets died. Like, what are we gonna do next? I mean